Hey there guys, it's me, Creepin' Jay, and welcome to, uh, Very Rich. I'm just gonna say this. My friend recommend- my friend Mothbat recommended this to me, so, uh... Mothbat, you best be doing nothing. The music is loud, so... I don't know how well it's gonna go for you, so let's just... Let's start. Warning! This game contains violence, small gore, mentions of suicide, mentions of self-harm, killing and death. Your discretion is most certainly advised. Where I grew up, the folklore surrounding our neighborhood forest... Where I grew up, the folklore surrounding our neighboring forest was always filled with intrigue. Oh, what some of us would give to enter the endless maze of trees, bushes, and of fog so thick it tricks your eyes. Not many children were allowed to go in by themselves, and many legends we heard helped deter us from the woods. One of the most prominent ones claimed that any living creature that found themselves lost when the forest was destined to die. This urban legend was only really used by parents to scare kids out of going to the woods on their own. But... There have been real reports of people going missing inside of these woods, never to be seen again. What drew the kids into these woods in the first place? The answer is surprisingly another urban legend. The rumor has it that a powerful witch lives deep, deep within the forest. Hidden amongst the trees and wildlife, she is said to have the power to bring one's deepest desires to fruition. Why kid wouldn't dream of this religious Riches, popularity, success. Your deepest desires are awfully promising. However, getting lost while trying to find the witch and succumbing to the force of a legend, the thought was terrifying. As I grew up, my fear of these woods grew less and less. I'm not afraid of what lies beyond these trees anymore. What lies beyond? There, there are many paths to avoid this fate. Yet, some seem to lead in circles, or just bring you nowhere. It's infuriating when you're trying to get to one place only to be back where you started. That rumor, it echoed in my mind as I wandered aimlessly for what seemed to be hours. My legs were growing weak from the bumpy path I walked on. I am calm, I am fine, everything will be fine! Despite saying these things to myself, I noticed my hands were shaking. <laughs> I was lost. Lost deep, deep into the woods. Damn these winding paths. Choosing to heed my legs to caress for rest, I sat down against a nearby tree nearby. The cold, thick air felt almost refreshing as I sat there. Over time, my eyes beckoned for a rest as well, and I comply with their demands. My vision slowly fades to black. Hello, hello, you're right there. I hear a feminine voice call out to me, and a very deep feminine voice at that. <laughs> my eyes were my eyes so closed, I felt a sharp pain in my head. Headache? My body fell in a different position from where I last slept it. I could feel the cool grass beneath my head. But I don't remember lying down. I opened my eyes to finally greet the mysterious voice. Oh, you okay? <laughs> oh, you okay? Thank goodness. I was starting to get worried. A girl with bright pink hair and even brighter disposition about my gaze. She was hovering over my body, kneeling next to me. Her smell felt warm and comforting. She emanated the smell of freshly baked uh, bread and strawberries. The more I thought, the worse the pain in my head became. Says it's a lot more about you than it does for everybody. I will say that. Ow! I groaned in pain, slowly gathering the strength to stand up once more. Oh, careful there! Here, let me help you! The girl held into my arm and supported me as I stood up. My legs still ached and my head hurt. But nothing bad seemed to happen to me. Alright, there would be no ch right, there'd be no chance of the silly that is being true. I looked over at her and noticed her fancy attire. What an odd girl. What was she doing out here in the forest dressed like that? I suppose I shouldn't judge her too harshly. Her dress is cute. 
Hey, she did tell me after all. Thank you! Who are you? <laughs> I'll, okay. Okay, I'll, Anyways. <laughs> ah, my name is Strawberry! I want a bakery not too far from here! What's your name? Friend. Um. Ron. My name is Ron. It's nice to meet you. But did you say your name was Strawberry? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, my name is Strawberry. You the Strawberry Witch, silly. Regardless, it's nice to meet you, Ron. Wait, did she just say witch? She didn't appear to be more. She didn't. She didn't appear to be the more spiritual kind. She looked more like. Or like been riding broomsticks, making potions, that, that kind of witch. Or perhaps, was she the witch that I heard in those legends all of those years ago? Maybe she is, maybe she isn't, who knows. Golly, you look really worn out. Say, how about you come and rest in my bakery for a while? You must be thirsty. I can get you something lovely to drink. All the house. Oh my god, free... F free food? Oh my, yes, please. Sure, why not? What could possibly go wrong? Trusting strangers with blind trust? That's never gone wrong for anybody in the history of existing! Totally! This school might seem strange, but god was I thirsty. I had no idea how long I've been out here. Something to drink sounded so good right now. The allure that came from the inner child, wanting to believe she was a witch, when a legend persuaded me even more. The reason I came to this forest could always wait a little longer. Besides, she doesn't seem she doesn't seem like a threatening type of person. Or is she? Thank you. I would love that, but first, can you tell me more about what you mean by a witch like you? Mm hmm. Oh, silly me! You probably won't. You probably don't have people like me where you're from. No, nope, sure don't. <laughs> I'm a strawberry witch. My magic is centered around strawberries, plants, and all things sweet. I use my magic to make lovely treats and clubs making people smile. So, no broomsticks. No granting, no granting someone's greatest desire either, hmm? Her answer was a little disappointing. Still, I couldn't help but feel that there was something greater beneath the surface. Although I suppose I can make strawberry fly, if I worked hard on it. Yeah, this skill was harmless, at least. <laughs> the witch enthusiastically... The witch enthusiastically led me through the winding paths of the forest. She appeared as though she knew every tree, bush, and rock, like the back of her hand. That was not how you clap, okay. As we walked, one question lingered in my mind. Why would you build a bakery in a supposedly cursed forest? Surely it must be a bad business to set up shop out where people are too scared to go. Maybe that's where her witchy magic kicked in. Perhaps she has her own reasons that I simply can't see yet. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? She looks guilty though, I will say that. She looks very guilty. I try to rationalize answers to each question that kept invading my head. My thoughts kept me so preoccupied that I was frank- I was- That I was frank- that it was frankly a shock to me when we had arrived at the location. What the? The house Strawberry led me to appeared to be made entirely of cake, the shaggy frosting on top, and the candy scented off top. It looked so delectable. That's a big word. <laughs> the appearance would be any child's greatest dream. A very creative, imaginative child with a particularly sweet tooth, that is. Was it real? It's also like an entirely different world. It was almost as if I had stepped foot into a fairy tale. Hansel and Gretel, anyone? Walking through fields of strawberry bushes and close to the house, I could see a sign that read, The Strawberry Witch's Bakery. Ta-da! Here we are! Do you need the exterior, Ron? So long to perfect my magic in order to make anything this cute. <laughs> it looks amazing. Perfection of magic. This ring is perfection in general. The details were exquisite. 
it could be seen with every aspect of the house that love and care was put into it. Wow, it looks amazing! Did you make all of this? A delighted expression appeared on Strawberry's face. <laughs> well, partly. My building was already there. I just really used my magic to decorate it and sweet things. Still, decorating all of this? That's really impressive. You should be more proud of yourself. After saying those words, I noticed the witch swaying from side to side in a dreamy-like manner. She was giggling to herself. I leaned down to observe the bushes closer as she was in her bubbly state. Wow, well, the strawberries. I was no gardener, but every strawberry here seemed to ripe and well taken care of. Not a single bug bite could be seen on them, which was odd considering it was a forest. Aliens. He's an alien. Yep, she's an- Yep, Matt Pat, I have surpassed her in theories. She's an alien. So you will, she's an alien. This is how I'm going to die on. Come to think of it, I haven't seen any animals around here either. Surely a place like this would attract them, wouldn't it? Exactly, that's why I say aliens. I stood up once more and s Um, no. Yes. I stood up once more and snapped out of my thoughts when I heard Strawberry's gills subside. Subsidiary loans, anyone? <laughs> I'm so glad you like it! I'm sure you love the inside as well! I felt a sudden tug on my arm from the little lady and quickly realized she was dragging me inside the bakery. She must really be excited all about this, huh? Indeed she is. She must like you. A warm rush of air rushed past my face upon entering the door of the bakery. The smell of fresh baked goods welcomed me further into the house. It was obviously apparent for, for the strawberry theme. It was obviously apparent the strawberry theme resonated inside the building as well. Everything from the bright lights to the chairs, even the rug was in a strawberry pattern. The walls separating the front counter from the seating area were also made of strawberries. I didn't think they could grow vertically. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think they can either. Well, actually, you know what? I think they can. It just depends on how you get them. Yeah, they can. If you right click, it goes away. Interesting. No, I'm certain with the way they appear on the wall, it shouldn't be possible. I frankly wasn't sure whether to be impressed or concerned about what I was getting myself into. Personally, I had laid more on the latter side of things. Croissants! Cakes. Cookies are more stocked to the shelves. Many shapes and sizes. They're all in the wealth. Water. Surprisingly, not all the baked goods my host had displayed were made of strawberries. It's good to have some variety, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Can I get you something to drink? I cry recommend our strawberry milk. Oh, oh! Or our strawberry lemonade. Those are the best. Ah, so much for variety. Only strawberry drinks? The school is kind of funny with her stream theming. Lemonade, please. That lemonade. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Ah, can I have some strawberry lemonade? Honestly, strawberry lemonade sound not only sweet, but refreshing. The re lubricate of my cords. I could really use that for a long walk through the forest. Yes, of course! Go make yourself comfy, Ron! I'll be right back! With that, Strawberry prances in the kitchen. How many soft tune as she left? I took a moment to observe the room a bit closer before sitting down, and my gaze landed on the spiral staircase. In the corner of the room, a vines of strawberries that wrapped themselves gently around the hand railing pipe and fresh as, as all of the strawberries around. I didn't even notice that. It's cool. I looked up curiously to see where the stairs might lead. In the corner of my eye, I could spot what seemed to be a bed. Bedding on it, huh? So she lived here as well. It's a bit odd to have the staircase to your room right in the middle of the bakery. Yeah, that is a ra that is rather odd. I do agree. I could hear her humming getting closer. She must almost be back by now. Ready to kill you, perhaps? Wanting to avoid looking like a snoop, I took a seat. She joined me shortly after, sitting across from me. Oh, there we go. Hey, hey, 
Bingo! He must be thirsty! Ooh, that does look good. I will say that. See? <laughs> she said, setting down my drink of choice in front of me, I took a sip almost immediately. The cool, refreshing taste of the strawberry lemonade immediately regenerates the lost energy I had in the health where you lubricate my beautiful cords in my villain. Thank you! This is obviously- this is awfully kind of you. Oh, don't mention it! I live to serve! She laughed mechanically, saying, I live to serve, but it almost gives the overly fancy voice. I almost said too. Just please, let me know if you need anything, okay? Ron! Anything at all! She smiled at me, before he sounded genuinely concerned. It was immediately nice to feel someone so worried about me. I wasn't used to the feeling. Our conversation slowly melted into silence. I should probably think of something to say. You <laughs> the two here. In the name of the law, tell me what your stance is. Mrs. Strawberry, if that's your real name. <laughs> Can you tell me more about yourself? I have been curious to learn more about the witch. I feel like I've only gotten short tidbits or vague information thus far. Huh? Me? Honestly, I'm a bit more curious to learn about you. <laughs> there really isn't much to me, honestly. Oh, that's not true, Shaker. I can tell you a really sweet soul. I see the glint in your eyes. There's a spark in there unlike any other I've ever seen. Despite the fact that I was sure she was, despite the fact that I was su sure she was saying that to be nice, I couldn't help but smile softly as the girl spoke. You're too kind, just truly. She had just met me, but she was so nice to me. I didn't understand why. Maybe she's trying to kill you. You to buy us, perhaps? Enough about me. Let's get back to you. All right. Well, let's see. My hobbies are pretty obvious. I love baking and gardening with all my heart. Especially baking anything that has to do with strawberries, <laughs> Strawberries are your favorite fruit, I'm guessing? What? No, it's oranges. <laughs> sure about that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had a small chocolate out of humor. It was cute. She was cute. Ooh, look at you, little guy. Ooh. Hey! You two should kiss! What else? Oh, the one strawberry witch. I'm so proud to see these the magic every day. Like recently, I've really been interested in the magic of granting witches. Huh. This is like a legend. Maybe she's this witch I've heard of. of maybe, she's, maybe she's this witch I've heard of after all. That's not all, though. I'll admit. It is a little strange, but... I've been working on the magic that can bring things to life in a whole new way. Like reanimating the dead? Does that mean the dead need to walk the earth? Does that mean there'll be an up dead uprising? Uh, uh, um, it's actually more embarrassing than that. Yeah. Hey. Here, this is actually my I have a present for you. Exhale burst through the voice as she spoke, abruptly sitting up from her seats. Wait right here. She ran off, leaving me alone to question what was happening. A present? For me? But why? Once again, she just met me. I didn't understand the reason for her kindness. But my god, a present for me? Yours truly? I am the best person in the world after all, so I deserve all the presents in the whole wide world. Strawberry came back with a small pink box, wrapped in a light green ribbon. Plopping it down in front of me, she gave me an excited smile. Get out and open it! It's for you! Hesitantly, I opened the gift box to reveal... Oh! Cut. <laughs> uh, okay. Is this a plushie? <laughs> no, silly, that's a straw bunny. They're a mix of a bunny and a strawberry. 
What am I raising creatures with life magic? Interesting. Yeah, I I couldn't say that any better myself. <laughs> <laughs> Eat it. Interesting. I'll accept it. I suppose. It's funny because I'll be eating it. Aw, hi little buddy. I smelled warmly and pet the straw bunny's head with one finger. Oh, th that thing is talking. Woo, woo, woo! They're awfully adorable, huh? Thank you, Strawberry. I'll take good care of them. Strawberry looked happier than ever after seeing me and her strawberry getting along. <laughs> you gotta take good care of them, Ron. I'm trusting you. I don't trust that. I don't trust that face. I do like doing this though. <laughs> Aww. The tiny strawberry curl up nicely within my hand, making themselves comfortable. They were so tiny, I was afraid of accidentally crushing or hurting them. Hey, Ron! This is a little unrelated, but... Hypothetically, I think you could wish for anything. <laughs> what do you wish for? I froze for a moment. My wish? My greatest desire? But it's something I can only accomplish on my own. I want to ask that of you. Ooh, what is that? Is that so though? Mr. Ron, if that's a real name. What is it that you actually desire? Superstition, perhaps? Her delighted expression fell. The disappointment in her eyes was immeasurable. Uh -oh. I'm sorry. I really should get going. Here, I really appreciate it, but you should probably keep little buddy here. <laughs> the strawberry clung onto my thumb, but I managed to pry them off and set them down on the table. It sat in the smile of rose on my face. I was going to miss both of them, but I knew I shouldn't stay. Aww. <laughs> well, wait! It's dangerous sound of what's at this time! Why not stay for the night? I have an ex I cut her off before she could say- before she finished speaking. No, really, I need to go. I have something I came here to do. I'm awfully sorry. What is it you're trying to do, huh? Ron, if that's a real name. Or are you working for the CIA? Or- or you work for the CIA, lady. Oh, would you look at that? Oh ho 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 ho! She is working for the CIA. Interesting. Thank you again for everything, Strawberry. Goodbye. And she vanished into thin air. I got out of my seat and made my way to the exit. When suddenly, I felt something hard hit me right in the back of the head. Knocking me out instantly. Ooh, you've been kidnapped. See, she does work for the CIA. I am genius. Ugh, my head. Why is it always pain in my head? Waking myself up, I noticed that I wasn't in the bakery anymore. I was looking right out of bed, in the room covered with strawberry themed furniture and wallpaper. Despite not being inside of the bakery, this room smelled greatly of freshly baked bread and strawberries. This had to be Strawberry's room, no doubt in my mind. Even more alarming, however, was that large vines were wrapped tightly around the entire body, vines with strawberries. What the hell was going on in here? Why? Why? Why would Strawberry do this to me? Dad's demot. That's what I get for trusting a stranger. Was she going to tell me? Or would she use me for some weird magic stuff I didn't understand? All I knew I had to escape. I had to get out of here before she came back up to get me. I strolled against the vines, only barely managing to pry one of my hands out of its fruit scented grasp. That's when I learned the familiar sound to come from the stairs. 
Aww. Woo! 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 Little buddy! I whispered as I they walked closer to where I was tied up. Any chance you could help me out of this? The tiny little strawberry bunny looked around from side to side, observing the room. I watched them as they hopped up onto the nightstand and used a tiny little hand to press over a basket. The crash of the basket wasn't that loud, thankfully. Two items caught my attention that were within the reach of my free hand. I only had time to use one. I had to think fast. Ooh! You read the di- Ow, it's, I bit my lip. Can you read the diary, huh? I'm going to do the shears. I'm resisting the urge. The gardening stairs were the obvious choice for my escape. I grabbed them without hesitation and started cutting each vine until I could throw my way out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shh! Come on, it's a Without thinking, I scooped up the straw bunny in my arms and carefully snuck down the spiral staircase. With each st oh, my neck is hurting now. <laughs> With each step, I feared more for what could happen if I got caught. I still didn't know why Strawberry had knocked me out. She'd be planning anything. Your demise, perhaps? Hmm? I sure as hell wasn't going to stick around and see what she had planned. Creeping down to the main bakery, a million thoughts of panic rushed through my, my mind. In the distance, I could hear the soft humming of my captor. It appeared to be coming from the kitchen. I tiptoed my way through the bakery door, my heartbeat increasing in speed. I froze in place. Upon opening the door, figuring that these types of stores have bells attached to their doors, the humming of the distance stopped in an instant. I didn't have time to be careful anymore. I bolted through the door and into the woods. Running through the fields of straw bunnies, I, gr I briefly glanced behind me for a moment. <laughs> this sight I saw was certainly less unpleasant. Well, no duh! <laughs> wow. That, that, that's amazing. I will say that. That is amazing. <laughs> you really made her mad there, buddy. You really made her mad. Ha <laughs> I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> Those eyes of hers. They looked unlike anything I've ever seen. She looked like a true monster. Run! You can't run! Run! I said, Lenimo. She chased after me as I ran through the trees. I tried to lose her within the winding paths of the forest. I clung on a straw bunny for dear life. The sweat that em emanated from my palms didn't help, however. Strawberry cried out, losing grip on my hand themselves. The poor creature managed to slip out of my hand, rolling far, far behind me into a bush. I stopped for a moment to try and reflect them, but fear coursed through my veins upon hearing footsteps getting closer and closer. How is she so insanely fast? It was terrifying. I was being chased by someone with abilities I didn't even I didn't even understand. How dare they use things that you don't understand? I'm s I'm so sorry, little buddy. I whispered before running like my life depended on it. Some whispering. My life did depend on it. My legs are still sore from earlier, but I had to push through. I I couldn't let her catch me. Not like this. At one point, I I'd ran so fast I was certain I lost her. I looked behind me once more to be sure. I felt relieved for a moment, but life was short-lived as I felt my feet stumble over a rock. Immediately knocking me out of contact, I slammed my head against the dirt path. No, stop doing that. Hello? 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 Are you right there? 
Hello, hello, hello. Hey, welcome back. Long time no see. Ugh. Ending 405. The loop. Interesting. Credits, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that is, okay, pleasantly surprised, I will say that. Not at all what I was expecting. But yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next wonderful video. Bye bye.